Hey friends, so checking in after doing a big mess up. My alkalinity is reading way above 12, it's actually at 12.7, and I'll tell you why. So, if we go ahead and zoom in here, you will see this greenish kind of area, and I was basically treating all of these dinos with hydrogen peroxide, a lot of it. You'll see, I also did it back here as well. I don't know if it's gonna zoom in or not. Maybe it will. I'll try and manually zoom. There we go. Yeah, so back there. So it killed it all off, which is great. And then I was, you know, dosing hydrogen peroxide, just injecting it down onto the sand, kill it all off, great. Little did I realize that it can amp up your alkalinity. Um, I don't know if that's a common thing that everybody knows. Somehow I missed that freaking memo. Um, I wouldn't have done it if I knew it because I've already been battling some high alkalinity levels and I've been trying to bring it down. So here's what every single coral looks like when it's absolutely stressed out. So frog spawns, super stressed out. Clown, not happy because his frog spawns are stressed out. Lobophilia, super stressed out. They normally close, clam up at night anyways. That is an outfit. There we go. So they're stressed out. They're not fluffy at all. Um, bubble Coral, he was actually the first to show signs, and he clammed up really early on. So it's been going on for about... Eh, four or five hours now. So all of my other poor frog spawns, which are already stressing out, as you guys have seen, <laughs> in the past month with all the updates, um, they're stressed out. So, oh, and uh, let's, let's go see how everybody over here is going on. Um, oh, wow. So my trachophilia is totally tweaking out over here. It's totally receded in. Um, the brain, brain, I'm, the brain's a freaking rock, man. I tell you what, this, this brain is just an amazing coral. It really is. Uh, he gets stressed out in his own ways, but he can, he can hold his own. Um, candy canes, obviously not happy. Um, so, anyways, doing emergency water change was supposed to go down to the Keys this weekend. Still am. I'm just going in the morning now. So, um, only way apparently to, uh, you know, rectify this, emergency water change. Here's where I'm at. It's going to take a while. Good morning, everybody. So, actually got some sleep. This is day after the water change. Scratch that. It's five hours or so after the water change uh got finished at like 4:50, and it's almost uh actually yeah i'm pretty sure it's noon now so uh tank is looking stellar nothing like some freshly vacuum sand right um look at that sand super white so did we did we accomplish the goal yes yes we did so Emergency water change, uh, we had alkalinity at 12.7. Horrible idea. Uh, emergency water change, um, roughly 90 to 100 gallons. I don't know, spitballing it here. Almost ran out of salt. Actually, I did run out of salt. Uh, my second uh, trash can was at 102.4. Not a big deal. The other one, which was bigger, had more, uh, more water in it, actually was at 102.5. Um, so not a big deal there. And how's the corals doing? Well, let's take a look. So bubble, he's bubbling. So he's, he's looking all right. There's some nori floating around. Everybody's having a good time. Uh, how's the, the poor frog spawn, which have been just getting hammered, uh, with stress. Um, they're coming out and they're not insta bleached, I guess you could say. So that's good. 
Um, you can see they're a little receded, but um, they'll, they'll recover from this. That's I'm not really really concerned there. Um, this one, he's been having a little bit of tough time. I think we are going to have a little bit of permanent damage on one of his colonies, but we'll see. Um, everything else is, is um, I mean, he, he seems to be doing okay there. Um, gotta tell you, these guys, these guys have been really holding in there. Sim Cora, um, a lot doesn't phase it. Tell you what, though, you get the water line down, he gets really pissed off. So, um, this guy right here. Uh, you see less green out of him when he gets stressed out, so he's 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 not super happy. Um, this colony, you know, he's doing okay. Uh, he'll he'll come back in a couple days, and then uh, the trusty Lobo, trusty Lobo is doing amazing. You saw last night that he was super stressed out. Um, give him a little bit of love. I mean, shoot, we even have a little bit of polyp extension in there. Not not really big, but you can tell he's actually starting to eat a little bit even too so um how's the candy canes doing they're stressed out so but look at the giant brain he's actually in feed time right now so that's kind of cool um maybe i'll throw him a bone but yeah you can see he is he is uh super super hungry right now oh yeah there's a there's some pop extension over there so sweet uh what's going on with the rest of them uh the candy canes yeah they're not they're not super super happy um but they'll they'll get back to it so and then uh mr tracky hanging out right over here he's fluffy not as fluffy as he can be but he's fluffy enough so uh insta you know last minute water change totally worth it guys um brought the alkalinity back down to 10 point two i believe so uh total water volume plus minus 300 gallons uh did you know 90 to 100 gallon water change um you know get rid of a third of the problem and that's the idea so looks like the tank's gonna survive another day uh thanks for tuning in guys